Hello, today we will teach you how to use a drill press. In this video, we will teach you about the different parts of the drill press and how they can be used to help you drill holes in your part. But first, what should you do to be safe? Tie long hair back. Wear safety glasses. Remove dangly jewelry and loose clothing. Don't wear gloves. Wear closed toe shoes. Confirm that everyone else in the shop has followed these rules. Now let's get started. Depending on the drill press, you may or may not be able to drill certain materials. Be sure to read all signs on or near the drill press and confirm with the machine shop mentor what materials you can drill. Other signs may include information about drill bits for tapped or free holes and spindle speeds. We're almost ready to drill our part. First, you want to measure and mark where you want to drill holes in the material. A dimple created with a center punch, or a pilot hole created with a center drill, is needed to guide the drill bit. In most cases, both methods can be used to lead in your drill bit, but you cannot use a center punch if the dimple created is too small compared to the web, or the linear tip, of the drill bit to be used. If you plan to center drill, do it once your part is clamped to the table. Adjust the table height so that the drill bit can be lowered and can drill through your part. The hole in the center of the table should align with the drill bit. Make sure the table is locked in place after adjustment. We recommend placing a piece of sacrificial wood on the table. This piece of wood is helpful to prevent blowout in your part when you are drilling a through hole. If your part is small or circular, you must secure it in a vise. All parts and vices should be clamped down to the table and clamped tight enough so that the parts and vices don't move or rotate relative to the table. Now that both your part and the table are stationary and secure, you may insert a center drill or the appropriate drill bit to create an initial hole. To do so, use the chuck key to tighten and loosen the collet. When inserting a drill bit, make sure the chuck grips the drill bit by the shank, not the flutes. Drill bits gripped by their flutes are spun off-center and become damaged. Once you've tightened the bit, put the chuck key back in its original location. While the drill press is off, pull down the down feed handle to check that your mark is aligned with the center drill or the pilot hole is aligned with the drill bit. If the spindle speed must be adjusted while the drill press is off, do so and then turn on the drill press. If not, turn on the drill press and adjust the spindle speed to the appropriate setting. Now you can center drill. You should drill until just before the shank of the center drill goes into the part. If you are drilling with a drill bit, you should drill in a pecking motion. This means drilling into the part a little and then pulling the drill bit up to allow the chips to break and come out. Drilling too far without relieving the hole of chips will damage your part and the drill bit and can cause smoking since your part will heat up. Be careful not to drill through the vise, the table, or any screws and nails. This will also damage the drill bit. If you are drilling a hole of diameter larger than half inch, you must first drill through your pilot hole with a smaller drill bit. Increase the diameter of the drill bit used until you reach your desired diameter. When drilling through thin materials such as sheet metal, use the step drill bit to drill to the desired hole size. The step drill bit's straight flute will prevent the thin part from twisting out of shape or catching on the bit when being drilled through. If you are not drilling a through hole, you can use the depth stop to drill a hole to your specified depth. When you're done, remove the drill bit. Never touch a spinning drill bit or collet. Wait until it has come to a complete stop. Make sure to clean up your workspace with a brush or vacuum after using the drill press. Do not use your hands to clean up the chips.